This video will show you how to perform an ANOVA test on a Casio graphical calculator. This video is for two-way tables. If you want to use one-way tables, there is another video in this little mini-series which will show you how to do that. The main difficulty in performing ANOVA tests on the calculator is in getting it to understand exactly what you want, and it's quite complicated for two-way tables. So I would always advise organising your data in a table as per the one on this uh, video. So we've got two different factors for A, two different factors for B, and it's important that we know which row um, or column the data is in. So we go into the statistical mode, as you would usually do, and what we're going to do here is we're going to use list 1 to represent which A factor we're looking at, effectively which row. For list 2 we're going to um, represent which B factor we're looking at, so which column, and the third list we're actually going to put the data. So it's quite complicated to put these things in. The data that uh, we're going to use, we've got four pieces of information on the first row. So I'm going to specify one four times for the first row, and there's four pieces in the second row as well. Now it gets a little bit confusing because now we're looking at the information that's in the first row. We've got two pieces of data which are in the first column of the first row and we've got two pieces of data in the first row which are in the second column. Then we've got the same whoops, we've got the same going on uh, in the second row, two pieces in the first column, two pieces in the second column. So now when we're putting our data I'm reading across that this is first row, first column. My two pieces of data are 113 and 116. Next one, first row, second column, 139, 132. Second row, first column, 133, 131. Second row, second column, 126, 122. And that's all the data entered. We want to make sure that it does a statistical test we want an ANOVA test. Now we need to specify what it's doing. How many is whether it's a one-way or a two-way table. Of course, this is a two-way table, so we need to make sure that we're pressing for two-way. We need to then know that it's um, taking factor A from list one, taking factor B from list two. So where is it taking the rows from? Where is it taking the columns from? Where is that information given to the calculator? Dependent, this is the data, and this is actually specified the wrong place, so I need to make sure it's taking the actual data from list 3. So going into list, and then putting a 3, so it now knows that it's taking the data from list 3. We can get it to save the results somewhere if we want to, but really what we're interested in is making a calculation. So we'll go into execute, do the calculation, it takes a little while, and there we've got everything that we would need to know. So what we've got there, of course, are the degrees of freedom, the treatment sum of squares and the error sums of squares, We've got the mean square treatment, mean square errors and so on. F statistics are all presented for us and the p-values are all given there. And of course with all of these you can scroll around and get more detail than is shown in the table. So with this just make sure that you're being very careful about where you're entering that data. If you go back again, really it's the setup in list 1 and 2 that's the difficult part. But just think carefully about which rows and columns everything's in and you should be okay.